What's up guys and welcome back again to the Akins Tech Tutorial channel. In today's tutorial we'll be doing simple introduction into a design software known as Orion 18. This software is used by engineers to design and to analyze um, structural elements like the columns, the beams, the slabs and staircases. So in our today's tutorial we'll create a simple structure like this. We add slab, we add columns and then beams. So before we do that, we do a simple introduction by explaining some of the tools that are in this software. So we start our tutorial right away by launching or opening Orion 18 again. So let's close this and then open a new interface. All right, so first we open Orion 18. So this is the interface or this, how it looks like when you open it. So we need to create a new project for our structure. So to do that, we click on new project here and then give our project name. So I'm going to name this building analysis. And then click on OK. So now I have um, this dialog box here. So from here, I'm going to choose a template and I'm going to use UK bs8110 so you can choose a design code or a template that suits your country also so for my own country i'm going to use design standard which is based on the uk standard that is bs8110 so i'm going to select this and then click on import and then from here i'm going to select the paper standard or the paper size which i'm going to use so from here i'm going to choose a2 you can choose a2 or a1 whichever paper you you prefer so i'm going to choose a2 and then click on ok all right when you open around 18 this is basically how it's going to look like and you have all of these tools which you can use for your drawing so first we'll explain some of these tools before we go into our drawing so at my left i have this box which displays all the elements you are using for your drawing so right now we have we don't have any elements so we only have asics and the story here so subsequently we'll be designing we have other elements that will be appearing on this box such as the columns the slabs and the rest of other elements so down here we have different views which you can toggle so down here we have plan view here we have column application plan and here we have foundation details and design status also so when we create our structure you're going to see how um, this can be used for our views and then we have other elements or other tools here which you can also use so first of all we have the zoom tools so we have zoom window zoom previous zoom extend zoom limit and we also have the view tools here which you can use and down here we have different layers properties or layers layers for columns layers for beams layers for walls and all the layers here you can edit or you can set your layers color from this very dialog box here and to do that you click on any of this color and then click on this arrow so now you have all of these um, colors which you can pick but i'm not going to do that now so click on ok and then click on cancel to cancel this so up here we have different tools also which we can use for our design so here we have the building or the uh, building tools which you can use we can use this to select different stories we can use this to edit insert or generate story whichever we prefer and also there are other tools here which you can use maybe to start a new project or to save project or to report or to plot a project and here also we have the elements which we'll be using for our our design so here we have as is we have columns and the rest of the tools which we'll be using and a lot of bunch of um, tools here which can, we are going to use in our tutorial or uh, as we do this lesson so here also we have different views which can choose we have plan view we have 3d view we have um, plan plus 3d and the rest of others so right away um these are the only these are the tools we can use for design and to know how to use this tool properly as we design in our tutorial or as we design this structure we're going to make use of these tools and you will understand better how you can make use of these tools in in design so first to start our design right away we'll go to our settings here settings menu and then click on settings and parameters 
So we have this dialog box again. So from here now we can set all the parameters, both our materials, our units, our dimension styles and layers. We can set all of the parameters which we are using for our design right from this point here. So to start, we'll, st we'll set our materials first. So click on materials and then click on view at this point. So from here now we have to choose, from here now we have to choose the material which we'll be using for our design of our structure. So first we'll choose the concrete grade for the columns and for this design we'll use a concrete grade of grade 20 for our design and then click on OK. And likewise we want to use grade 20 for the walls, for the beams, the slabs, rib slabs, foundations and links. So to do that we we come back here and click on columns and then click on apply to all members type and then click on OK. So now we have all of this grid of concrete already um, applied to all of the elements here. And next again, we'll do that to the steel grid. So click on the steel grid and choose grid 410 for this design and click on apply to all members type and then click on OK. So we have grid 10 steel apply to all of these elements which we'll be using and then next we'll now set the bar size for this um, very um, element so for the bar size of the column we click on the diameter and we choose the bar size for the column we are going to use um, y for the columns we're going to use y16 and y20 for our columns so uncheck all of these other bar sizes so we have Y16 and Y20. And then click on OK. Now for the walls, I'm going to edit and change the, the bar size to, to Y12. So uncheck every other bar sizes leaving Y12. And then click on OK. Now for the beams, I'm going to use bar size of uh, Y12 and Y16. And then click on OK. Now for the slabs, I'm going to use the bar size of Y12. And then click on OK. For the rib slabs, I'm going to use the bar size of Y12 and Y16. So I'm check every other bar sizes, leaving Y12 and Y16. Then click on OK. Now for the foundations, I'm going to use the bar sizes of Y16 and Y20. Then click on OK. Now for the links, I'm going to use bar size of Y8 and Y10. So uncheck every other bar sizes, leaving Y8 and Y10. Then click on OK. And then for the unit width of concrete, it's going to be 25 kilonewton per meter cube. And then for the unit width of block, 4.5 kilonewton per meter cube. So all this is going to be left to the standard and we'll now click on OK. So we now have our material set for this um, design. So next we we'll set our unit. So click on unit and format settings, then click on view. So already our unit is an SI unit. And if you could, if you choose to use MKS unit, you can select M MKS. So I'm going to leave it to be XI unit and then click on OK. Next I'll set my dimension style. So click on dimension style settings and then click on view. So here I'm going to change the dimension to architectural tick. So I'm going to select this and then for the dimension text, I'm going to change um, the text position to inline and then click on OK. And then for the layers, um, I'm going to leave the, the colors to be default and then click on OK. And so now we have all of these um, elements, all of these properties and parameters set 
for different elements which we'll be using for this structural design so now we can click on close and click on yes to save changes to our designs all right so we have our our design set now so now we need to insert story to our our building so to do that we can use this side and insert story or we still come over to building and then insert story from here so here i'm going to click on insert story and for two story building i'm going to set this to two and then click on ok now from here i'm going to edit the story and then give it the story height so click on edit story so now i'm going to make the story height with 3150 including the slab thickness then press enter now for first story bottom level i'm going to use 450 which is just like dpc so 450 millimeters and then for the foundation depth this is going to be 1000 millimeters and then click on ok all right so now we have our story set already so next we need to put grid lines into this um, paper we have here displayed so to do that click on as is and then right click then click on orthogonal as is generator and then come back to your paper and then hold the control key and click on any point so now we'll change the grid insertion reference point to zero for the x this is going to be zero and for the y axis this is going to be zero now for the direction one axis we'll set the numbers of grid lines we want which is the x axis so for here we're going to use 4000 millimeters for the spacings and we need four grid lines so this is going to be 4000 times four and then the axis extension line is going to be 2000 now for the direction two axis which is the y axis we we'll use the same settings 4000 times four and then also the axis extension line is going to be 2000 so now we have this we now click on ok and so now we have our grid lines already for this um, design all right so now we have our grid line set and our story inserted so next what we'll be doing is to create our columns and then beams and then finally slab in our next tutorial we'll be learning how to create how to analyze and to design do calculations and then export our drawing to autocad so now to add columns to this very um, grid lines or to this very structure we have um, the tools which you can use to do that here so first we'll, you pick this column um, tools and from here we see the column properties so we can choose the numbers of columns we have or the, the story for story one or for story two we can choose from here and for the for the column width we're going to use 225 by 225 then press enter now now set the eccentricity to the center to pick this point here and we have 112.5 and 112.5 and for this other parameters mode drop 3d this is going to be default the way it is and so now we can come back to this structure and at the intersection of this grid point we put our columns just like this we can also click and drag to insert our columns all right so now we have our columns um, inserted into the structure and it's looking good so next we'll be adding beams to this um, structure and to do that we select the beam tool from here and then impute the beam parameters or the beam properties so we choose a beam width of 225 and then the eccentricity to be center and then for the beam depth i'm going to use 300 millimeters for the beam depth now for the model parameter it's going to be the same or default so now I'll come back to our structure and from any point or from the intersection of the grid lines we can click and drag to insert our grid lines first for the 
direction one axis or the x axis and also we'll do that to the y axis or the direction two axis so we click and drag from from the where these columns are click and drag down all right so now we have all our columns and all of our beams inserted to this structure and it's looking good so we can zoom in to see uh, this structure properly so click on view and zoom in so now these are our beams these are our beams and here comes our columns so if you click on column application plan you can see our columns just here and if you click on design status we can see our columns uh, sorry we can see our beams both in the direction one and direction two as is and then we click on this plan view we see both the columns and the beams here so now we'll add we now insert slabs again to this very structure and to do that we pick the slab tool here and then impute the slab properties so we can choose different types of slabs either cantilever slab or simply supported or whichever one we prefer so it's going to be this one and then we'll add the slab thickness so this is going to be 150 for the slab thickness and then we're going to use the cover of 225 millimeters and then for the load loading we click on loadings the soft width is already 3.75 and then for the dead load we choose either for rooms corridors or stairs so it's going to be rooms and automatically the, the dead load here is 1.65 now for the impose load right click on this point and you can see different factors or different values that are set for impose load depending on the design you're doing either for a bedroom and dormitories or residential communal areas or whatever you're designing i'm going to choose residential and communal areas with limited use so now you have these values um, for your properties and for the beams so you can click on the center of these slabs or these um, grid lines so you can insert your slab so i'm going to click here at all of this point to insert slabs all right so we have all the slabs here and the columns and the beams for this structure and we'll close this for now so you can see since the dimensions are the same we can see this is a two-way spanning slab and the load is going to be shared to equal equally to all the beams here so guys this is how you can actually design or insert slabs beams and then columns to a structure so for if i need to view this in a 3d i can click on this 3d um view here all right this is how it's going to look like in 3d if you view this um story or uh, if you view this lab which you have created so you can view different let's we want to view this side you can use this tool and view this side so we can also view from here we can also view from this side all right guys this is how you can make use of orion you can see this 3d structure looking very nice for this design so guys in our next tutorial i'll be showing you how to make calculations and analysis and then how to export or how to export this um, very structure to autocad and then print out your structure and analysis so please do subscribe and then click on the bell icon to get notification so thanks for watching and then see you in my next video